ఫామ్ చేయండి సో టుడే విల్ రివైజ్ టుడే మార్నింగ్ సండే అభ్యక్త మురళి విత్ మార్చులి దిస్ పోయిట్రీ ఇస్ a very famous poetry in marathi literature and it's written in marathi so i'll begin this poetry and then we will begin uh, the further talk uh this poetry is about a duck and it goes in this manner eka tadayat hoti badke pile surekh hote kurup vede pillu tayat ek कोणी न तयास घेई खेळावयास संगे सर्वान हुनी निराळे ते वेगळे तरंगे दावूनी बोट त्याला मनती हसून हसून लोक आहे कुरूप वेळे पिल्लू तयात एक पिल्ल्यास दुःख भारी भोळे रडे सताशी भावंड ना विचारी सांगेल ते कोणाशी जे ते तयाच तोची दावी उगाच धाक होते कुरूप वेळे पिल्लू तयात एक एके दिनी परंतु पिल्लास त्या कळाले भयवेळ पार त्याचे वाऱ्या सवे पडाले पाण्यात पाहताना चोरून या क्षणेक त्याचेच त्या कळाले तो राजहंस एक दिस पोएम इज टेलिंग अ स्टोरी अबाउट अ फ्लॉक ऑफ डक्स दॅट यूज टू लिव्ह इन वन लेक and there was one ugly looking not so pleasing not so handsome amongst them and everybody used to tease him that duck because he was very much ugly looking that particular duck and because of this that duck was very much unhappy very much miserable nobody would accompany him he was always a strange and he was always left behind they would play but they would not include this duck so this duck was extremely unhappy for his ugly looks as well as because he used to think as if i am not so beautiful as other ducks and they would feel that he is out of the mill absolutely unconventional but one day it so happened that whilst he was swimming he happens to see his own reflex reflection for so long he was so unhappy thinking that he is so much ugly unsightly and one day when he sees his own reflection he finds that he is not duck he is not a stork but he is swan a rajhans and there the poem poem ends if we look at our own lives we were also suffering from something like this identity crisis what is known in english language we didn't know who we actually are and we used to think that we are just ordinary beings and even in the ordinary we used to have that feeling of inferiority complex unless and until baba came on this earth and he came and he told us as in today's murli today baba dada has come to see baba dada has come into the gathering of holy happy hans holy happy swans so it's he who gave us this identity who we actually are he pulled us out of that inferiority complex he pulled us out of that low self worth feeling which we were harboring from such a long period of time and it is also that even after becoming brahmin sometimes we harbor that feeling of inferiority complex for many reasons for many reasons and probably this inferiority complex this feeling of low self esteem is the only bondage only obstacle only hindrance in our path that obstacle that feeling maybe we have come late in knowledge one we are not staying in madhuham two we are not surrendered three we have not seen this yagya we have not seen dadis it could take any form in one way it is good but in another way this itself becomes a struggle in our effort these people are here from such a long period of time we have not we are not doing that sort of effort which these people are doing in one way this is good but this is not self esteem this is not self respect this is not swaman while baba is coming and telling that baba that has come 
into the gathering of holy, happy fans. Probably we are forgetting who we actually are. We are also suffering from that self-identity that we think ourselves as stork or duck, like that duck. But in fact, who was he? He was not ordinary duck even. He was holy son. He was Rajans. He was king. So, let's enter into today's Murli. Today's Murli is, has so many different points. How to revive this? I was just thinking from where to begin. So many different points and so many different topics are there. And from where to begin, how to start and which topic to take and which to leave. So, just for the sake of simplicity, I have divided it into 14 different parts. Or rather you can say, these are the qualifications of holy fans. You can make them into 7 pairs or rather 14 different points. Or you can even say that these are the specialities which a holy, happy swan should have. So what are the specialities? Or you can, after the last uh, of the Tumurli, you can say these are the different garlands. About 14 different types of garlands. Every Murli we are bringing out new garlands. Baba is bringing new garlands. So what are those different garlands? What are the different qualifications? What are the different things a holy, happy and should possess. What are the qualifications? So, this Murli, we will be discussing again and again over the period of time. But today, for the sake of uh, this class, let's begin with the first point. A holy, happy swan, or rather you can even say that different hearts, Baba has told, different types of hearts. What are those different types of hearts? In Bible there is mention somewhere that God just take out, pluck out this fleshy heart and give me a heart full of love. Give me a fleshy heart. Implant a fleshy heart in my bosom, in my heart, in my chest. Take out this heart which is full of hatred, which is full of jealousy, which is full of vices and give me a new heart. In the similar manner, Baba is giving us a new heart, a new garland, a new point, a Telling us different qualifications of fans. First point. A holy, happy swan is having clean and clear heart. That is the first qualification. A clean and clear heart. Baba said, those who are having clean and clear heart, they are very much close to Baba. They are rather sitting on this heart throne of Baba. They are closest to Him. He loves them very much. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the kingdom of God. Baba is saying, your heart should be very much clean. Your heart should be very much clear. What does this mean, to have a clean and clear heart? Is it that we have become very much complex, complicated, intricate? Is it that we are wrapped in deceptions, we are wrapped in intricacies of the mind. Baba doesn't like all this. He wants a very simple heart, a very clear heart. There is an anecdote about Moses. Moses was a prophet, Abrahamic prophet, one of the important prophets in Jewish religion. It so happened that he, it is like uh, if you say three M's, they are remembered, they are lawgivers. First M is in India, Manu, from where the word Mana or man has come up. He is the first person who gave laws of course of conduct. In the similar manner, in the West, it's Moses, Ten Commandments of Moses. So Moses has given commandments. And recent one is one, Karl Marx, who has also given some commandments, which Russia and China and other states were following earlier. So these are the lawgivers. So when Moses was passing by one way, he finds... A very poor person is sitting and praying to God. But it was, the prayer was intolerable. It was such an absurd poem, prayer. And he was just stunned to see that a person can even pray like this. That What was that prayer? That man was just 
kneel down before God and he was saying oh lord if you are hungry i will feed you if you are if your body has got lice i will clean that lice if you fall sick i will take care of you moses said what nonsense what sort of poem is this who taught you this poem you are talking with god oh god if you are tired i will massage you what sort of poem is this moses says to him you are such a idiot you don't know how to pray even that man says oh i am i really don't know moses asks who taught you this prayer he says nobody taught me i am a carpenter i am a simple poor man i don't know how to pray just out of my churnings or out of my thinking i just made this poem because i don't know how to pray he said forget you are quite fortunate that i i have come to you i will teach you what is prayer and he teaches him a good prayer as per the scriptures as per the ten commandment thou shall not do this thou shall not do this and all that thing things and he teaches him prayer and moses is so happy after teaching this man this good uh, scriptural poem a correct poem and he is on the way suddenly he has to face the wrath of god suddenly he hears the voice of god god says what you did i sent you as a prophet to bring people close to me and what you have done that man was so much close to me and now what poem you have taught him he is talking anything else earlier he used to converse with me and i used to enjoy he was such an entertainer what have you done he was so close to me so god doesn't like those complicated laws he likes simplicity of heart he likes that clean heart he likes that clear heart at for the at any other at different place baba has said and actually he has given as a homework your heart should not have any stain such unstainable heart such immaculate heart such pure heart such clear heart such unsullied heart such unstained blemish free free heart stains of apman and abhiman each of us if we look into ourselves we feel feel that we are at some point of time insulted by somebody and we are still carrying that episode that memory with us and the moment we see that person yes he is the man who had insulted me he is the man who had not behaved nicely with me he is the person who had misbehaved with me and he is the one who had insulted me in front of public he is the one who had had mistrust in me he is the one who did not give proper due respect to me so this is we are carrying this stains insult and arrogance we have to free our heart of these two stains also pre old sanskars so to free the heart of all stains of old sanskars to free the heart of all stains of insult and arrogance this is to become to have clean and clear heart this is first definition of clean and clear heart second definition is to be free of waste to be free of waste to have a clean heart that is the qualification of holy happy fan to be free of waste and to have unstainable heart such a pure heart that's what baba likes so that is the first qualification second qualification is satisfaction santosht these are those souls their pure thoughts their pure wishes get easily fulfilled and they are the souls who are having deep sense of satisfaction deep sense of divine discontent this contentment this is the sign ko known of brahmin life in spite of becoming brahmin in spite of getting everything what we have got if our heart is still dissatisfied distraught running here and there moving from pillar to post we don't know what to do then probably something is missing within we need to check we need to self analyze why still we are searching something why that satisfaction has not come when we will get satisfied even after getting god if we are not satisfied when are we going to get satisfaction is any person going to give us satisfaction any wealth any circumstance of this world any material happiness can satisfy us never 
if after getting God, if after knowing God, if after understanding Him, if after getting His inheritance of Brahmin life, we are not satisfied, probably, 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 something is definitely wrong. And it's a time for self-checking. It's a time for analysis. This is a sort of failure. You know, whenever in the elections, some party fails, what they come and say in front of TV newspaper uh, reporters, they say that, yes, uh, we want to retrospect and find out something somewhere we have gone wrong. So when they are met with such bias go, such failure, they self-analyze. So in this Brahmin life, if we are having if we are having dissatisfaction, discontentment, we are not satisfied with things. There is every time restlessness within probably we need to recheck. So second is to have deep sense of satisfaction. Third, easiness. Third is easiness, saralata. This is such a important virtue to have easy nature, saral sobhav. Why we have become so complex, so full of conceit, kapat? God doesn't like all this. He says, have easy nature, easy attitude, easy vision, easy words, easy nature, easy behavior, easy connections, easy relationships. Everything should be easy. Your heart, your brain, your speech, everything should be one. It's not that you are speaking something, doing something, thinking something. This three things, what you think, what you speak and what you do, this thing should be in conformation with each other, in harmony with each other. If they are not in harmony, we are thinking something, but we are speaking something, and then we are doing something else. This is not the sign of Holy Swan. So third qualification is easiness, easy nature. Actually, we all have become very complex in this common life. Maybe because of the experiences, wrong, negative, bad experiences, we have become very much negative somewhere. We have to go back to that childhood, go back to that childlike simplicity. Unless and until we become childlike, we cannot enter into that kingdom of heaven. That same simplicity, that same innocence. It's not the words, it's the innocence of the heart that pulls people towards you. If suppose you find that people are getting attracted to you, okay, all of a sudden, why they are getting attracted? Rather, all the worldly people get attracted towards all the Brahmin. All Brahmins. Why? There is a one definite reason for that. And that is because we all are carrying that innocence within us. And seeing that innocence, they are reminded of their own innocence. Seeing our purity, they are reminded of their own purity. That is why they get attracted to us. So this is a very, very, very subtle aspect. It's not the word always. It's not the word. It's some innocence. And probably we ourselves are not aware of that innocence. And But that attracts the world, the worldings. So, easiness. And next is selfless. Fourth, selfless, niswarth. This is the sign of Holy Swan. The Baba says that I am the only altruistic server, but we have to strive to, to be as much selfless as possible. More for the world, less for ourselves. The less is more. That is the dictum. You must remember this. The less for ourselves is more. The more for the world is less. Give as much as possible. By giving, everything increases. And when we hoard things, when we garner things, when we collect things and keep for ourselves, probably we are not getting it. The more you give, the more you receive. This economic, spiritual, economic, spiritual finance is entirely different. So this is the fourth. Fifth is balance. Balance of being humble. Baba has used few different words. One place he said humble, nirman, and another place he said egoless. Nirankari. So, this balance of humble and another is constructiveness. 
निर्माण यू हैव टू बी क्रिएटिव और कंस्ट्रक्टिव बाबा सर यू आर डेफिनेटली कंस्ट्रक्टिव यू आर डूइंग दैट वर्क बट वन थिंग इज विथ मिसिंग एंड दैट इज हम ह्यूमिलिटी वी बिकम बेन वी बिकम प्राउड वी डू स्मॉल थिंग्स एंड वी फील वी हैव डन सो मेनी थिंग्स लुक एट अवर दादीज दे आर देयर इन दिस ईयर की फ्रॉम लास्ट एटी ईयर्स दे हैव गिवन देयर एवरीथिंग एंड स्टिल दे आर सो हम्बल लुक एट दादी जान की इन फ्रंट ऑफ अर आईज देर आर बुक्स ऑन हर शी इज सो मच पॉप्युलरिटी बट इफ यू लुक एट हर शी इज अनटचड शी इज अनटचड बाय दैट पॉप्युलरिटी द ग्रेटेस्ट हर्डल इन द पार्ट ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिटी इज नेम एंड फेम वेन यू ऑलरेडी क्रॉस लस्ट एंड ऑल दैट एंगर एंड ग्रीड एंड ऑल अदर थिंग्स द अदर थिंग दैट कॉम्स इज दिस and many people many souls fall down so this humility that is one of the greatest and greatest of all the virtues you have everything and yet you are humble you know things and yet there is a feeling that i do not know things rather this feeling that i am there are so many things to know more this is the real journey of spirituality and to become vain to become pride, proud that makes you fall one or other day so baba has said that in this murli there are two different sections another sections baba has given two news first news is the news of the subtle world second news is the news of advance party playing holy in subtle world first news of the news of the subtle world where there is a conversation between brahma and shiva baba just as you do mono acting in your mono acting there are one there is one soul in two bodies here there are two souls but one body so first question shiva baba asked half the rosary is ready he said it's just snap of the finger and it will become ready brahma said second question is is the full rosary ready baba said this some time and time because this weakness is still there humility is not there this balance is not there so fifth qualification of holy episodes and is balance of humility and being constructive nirman and nirman so this balance sixth is blessing when you keep bless balance then only you get blessings blessings of shiva baba blessings of seniors juniors everyone for a very good effort for a good purushart you need blessings of everyone without receiving those dua that blessing you cannot progress much you need subtle blessings of everyone then only that will add up to your purushart and your purushart will become easy actually baba is talking i will go back to the word easiness there is easiness there is easy busy and lazy three words in english one is easy easiness is just as river it's not in hurry it's going to a ocean look at the nature everything is going on so systematically but look at man how he is rushing running he is lost in the hustle and bustle of this world because that easiness is totally lost easy is right right is easy this is a saying in english easy is right right is easy what is easy is always right and who is right is always easy easy is right right is easy chang tasu that was a zen master who has said this so this thing so we were discussing balance and blessing these are the pair next is baba has used two different words bestow and rahmdil merciful bestower and rahmdil we have discussed these two points many many times in this class only that we have to become a bestower we have to become we come a bestower and we have to become merciful we'll leave these two points we'll go ahead there's a very important point here baba has discussed and that is adjustment adjust to whom to negative people adjust 
to all the brahmin souls adjust you adjust so easily to nature why don't you adjust to those people who are against you adjustment to those people who are against you this is what spirituality is all about if you have learned this art it's very easy when all people are praising you everybody is uh, of your wavelength that time you don't have problem but there are people who are against you there are people who are against you they criticize you they talk ill of you they oppose you cast aspersions on you all those things are there to live amidst them that is the sign of holy swan adjust adjusting physically also if you go happen to i remember once we had gone to one center uh but there was a group of another bk they did not like the uh, sleeping arrangement in the center they said what is this we don't like this and what they did we slept there only for 3 days we and the few group was there but two brothers were there they hired they took a room on rent outside they did not want to uh, stay in that center actually we had gone to that place for service there was a disaster there was a disaster and that's why from this place from madhuban a team had gone to that disaster to rescue to help those souls but there were two souls from here they were totally they did not like that center arrangement at all the room was very good everything was there but they did not like they said no we will go out they took a room and what service they did i never saw them throughout the day we used to be there helping those uh, people who had met with disaster those people would to come in the morning and they were disappeared they disappeared the whole day <laughs> once <laughs> seva and then they went to some different places for sight seeing means like this can happen when we don't have that sense of adjustment we should be able to adjust everywhere everywhere this is baba's home adjust there even though what tap is not working i, I remember one center we had gone in that bathroom the door always used to remain open <laughs> it was <laughs> the, that 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 was not there so it was like but still we adjusted there we have to say uh, yeah that's what we did <laughs> the person who goes to the bathroom keeps on making some noise so that other person doesn't come in <laughs> something like that you keep on singing song <laughs> so, <laughs> so that happens but you learn the sense of adjusting things and baba is telling adjust to those people who are against you it's such a i don't think that means like i don't say for myself that i have achieved that but i am definitely trying that yes i have to adjust amongst all these people it's good that you go away and you go in silence and solitude you have no maya and you feel you are spiritually progressing but that is a pseudo spiritual progress false <laughs> the real spiritual progress is when you are amidst people you stay with them you walk with them you stay with them you walk with them and that is you you remain detached that is re- real spiritual progress so this is which point point number 8th 7th okay so uh, adjustment 9th 9th uh, how come it be 9th it has to be 10 misto and merciful are two different points misto and merciful are two different points so now the 10th is full of all attainments full of all attainments sarva prapti swarup that is the qualification of holy science and for that you keep on reminding yourself see when you come to madhuban keep on reminding yourself where i am that day i had said about situational awareness remind yourself this is which place where i am what is this place that awareness should be there within us so full of all attainments what are all the properties what are all the attainments achievements that we have in our brahmin life then next is next is mehnat mukt baba has said mehnat mukt if you have free from labor don't use the word effort here labor labor free if you got god and if you got everything still you are laboring baba says he doesn't like this to be mehnat mukt and to be jeevan mukt is to celebrate holy 
that is what is holy is so this is the another qualification of mehnat mukt another is mansa seva this is the fastest method of seva baba said you are working you are working with words but now you have to work with your mind through your mind and serve souls this is the fastest method of doing service that this service you have to do now so this is one next is about diwali celebration in this murli baba has talked about advance party how where are they what they are doing what are their qualification they are very pure they have they don't have this knowledge but they have the power of this knowledge they are in the atmosphere which is very much uh, following that entire atmosphere is as per the code of conduct those souls are very powerful cheerful happy contented all the souls of advance party and baba has emerged all of those souls in of advance party these are the different this i am including everything in holy celebration baba has told three different ways of holy one he has emerged all of us not of those souls of advance party and he is sprinkling colors of divine virtue divine knowledge gulab gulal of knowledge and divine powers this is one way second place he said you yourself sprinkle that color on you on your subtle body sparkling subtle body and third he talked about celebrating holy with uh, souls of advance party how they celebrated holy a great detail is written first baba emerged they danced they sang and they made a circle then they offered bhog welcome many things are there that you can read from murli we are not going to discuss that time is getting up so diwali celebration oh sorry <laughs> holy also diwali also all festivals in one place so diwali celebration means uh, holy celebration means to become holy to become holy to be free from stress and to be full of all attainments all these thing past is past that also baba has included that you can actually include in the first point which is clean and clear heart means past is past clean and clear heart means free from waste free from stains all those things can be included in the first part so holy the holy celebration and the 14th last point is the drill baba has conducted a drill here what is that drill you go to the subtle world you emerge your subtle body and you sprinkle colors on that subtle body and those colors are diamonds very fine refined diamonds and baba said seven different colors you can take all the seven forms embodiments of soul seven swarup of soul so every day go in the subtle world and sprinkle those colors or you can even imagine that baba is sprinkling those colors upon me on my subtle body and that body is becoming so beautiful so beautiful dress that such a dress is not there even in golden age so these are all the 14 points first we'll go back first clean and clear heart second satisfaction third easiness fourth selflessness fifth balance balance of being nirman and nirman being humble and being constructive then blessing if you have balance you will get definitely blessings from everyone next best over next merciful next adjustment so okay we'll come to that adjustment next full of all attainments next free from labor next mansa seva so mehnat mukta and mansa seva mm next deva holy celebration and last drill so these are the 14 points i just uh, cut short but there are lot many details in between also work on two three points today clean heart second easiness and third adjustment these are the three important points from today murli today's murli where you have to work on we have to see that there is no stain of the past and stain of hurt stain of trauma stain of insult just forgive and forget people now those who have hurt or insulted or whatever is bad they have done with you forgive them because baba doesn't want you to carry that stain within you so stainless heart blemish free heart very pure heart past is past free heart such a heart baba one more word baba has used milan sar at one place harmonious i don't know what is the english word but english murli has written harmonious that's very 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 uh, far away word but milan sar that is still different 
Hindi words have no replacement. English sometimes before Hindi English language appears very poor. English is such a is a dry chapati. This is tawa to mouth. Baba says pan to mouth. Direct language when we hear. So this was a rough translation. So work on three three homeworks. Clean and clear heart. Second, easiness. Why we are so tight? You know, just if I catch this rope and I stretch it, so my hands will have, you know, all creases or it may even bleed. The way is, release it. Don't hold things like this. He has done this to me. He said this to me. He did not behave like this to me. Why this tightness? Chodo to chute. Leave it. Live this. This tightness is not Brahmin life. A yogi has to be an easy yogi. Easiness, easiness is the beauty of life, is the music of this life, is the melody of this life. So bring that easiness. And third is adjustment. Adjust yourself everywhere. So I have to adjust now. Otherwise, <laughs> so this adjustment. So churn this smoothly, read this smoothly, think deeply on this smoothly, reflect on this smoothly, con contemplate on this smoothly. Deeply take out points, take out homework, take out new questions, and then you enjoy the murli. Otherwise, so many murlis come and they go away like this. Catch it and implant it within your heart so that it never goes away. It becomes the blood that is flowing through your veins. Every every line, every word of the murli becomes your life, the music of your life. Om Shanti.